So an AIM pipe is a channel to communicate between two processes. So it is like an IPC. This is transmit arbitrary messages and it is generally bidirectional. So usually when you have an IPC channel, the endpoint one can send data to the endpoint two. The name pipes themselves are a Windows thing and Windows supports both pipes and name pipes. And the only difference is that the name pipes have a name, as you can imagine. So when you are in a real scenario, you would have two different processes and each one would open the same name pipe and then they would be able to send data to each other's. So usually it's between processes, but it could also be between threads. And so it uses the heap to store sent messages and these messages are removed from the heap when they are read from the other endpoint. And so when we create name pipes, when the client and the server open the two sides of the name pipes, the kernel is going to allocate structures in the kernel to deal with it. But what is important for our Feng Shui is that when they are going to actually send data on the name pipe, the kernel is going to store this data on the non-page pool and that that's the message that we send over the name pipes that we're interested in. So the writes that we do that are going to be allocated and it's easy to control their allocation and they're free because we can read from the other endpoint to free it and we can just not read to make it remain in memory.